Hello, viewer. Welcome back. Want to let you all know to be here tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern for a debate live stream I'm going to be doing with Dylan Burns. You can join my Discord and interact with both of us. It should be a good time. Make sure and be here. Hope you enjoy it! But do any of you remember way back, way, way, way back to barely a week ago when a trans person carried out an actual attack on a Christian school. I know, I know, it's hard to remember back that far, especially when the media was quick to move on to the trans day of awareness. Then, never release the manifesto of that trans shooter. Well, apparently, the White House press secretary, Karen Jean-Pierre, also forgot or more likely, she knows exactly what she's doing. With the enactment of a new law in Indiana, 14 states have now banned gender affirming health care while some of these laws are currently blocked by courts. Okay, first of all, she's throwing out all these Orwellian terms, which we're all just supposed to kind of fall in line with. But I think there's a lot of disagreement out there about them, like trans kids and gender affirming and then health care in that context. I don't think most of us agree that just because some young kids think they're something they're not, that they actually are that thing or that we should affirm that they are that thing that they're not. Kids can't even dress themselves, but you're going to give them the decision to stop their normal biological processes or mutilate their bodies to achieve something that is ultimately impossible. This is a dangerous, a dangerous attack on the rights of parents to make the best health care decisions for their own kids. Okay, so equally Orwellian is trying to say that what these kids are getting is health care. Doctors are supposed to do no harm, okay? The Hippocratic Oath. And I'm pretty sure that amputating body parts and stopping the normal biological processes of these kids is not health care. Now, their excuse for calling this health care is that they claim that these kids will absolutely 100% kill themselves if they don't get what they supposedly want, which is to be the opposite sex, which is impossible. But isn't that a dangerous form of abuse and manipulation all on its own? I mean, we have these kids who think that there's something they're not, supposedly, okay? Uh, who knows if these kids are being influenced by the culture or by the parents. I mean, you're seeing this giant explosion in these kids, which leads me to believe that it's more of a social contagion than something real. But these young kids supposedly need this life-saving health care, which is drugs and hormones to stop their normal biological processes and mutilating their bodies. And we're told that if they get this, then they won't kill themselves. And we're also being told that if you don't agree with this and you don't nod your head and fall into line, then you're also responsible if these kids kill themselves. That is legitimately a form of abusive coercion and a sign that what's going on here is not right. And what do we always hear about these people, but their fear that there's attacks on democracy? Well, this is just another example of how Democrats think democracy is just getting what they want. Then it's an attack when they don't. We don't let kids do almost anything until they're 18, pretty much just driving at 16. But now we're gonna let them make these life-changing decisions that are gonna follow them their entire lives based on something that is ultimately not real. Look, this is awful news. We'll let's be very clear about that. LGBTQI plus kids are resilient. They are fierce. They fight back. They're not going anywhere. <laughs> wait, and wait, a minute, wait 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 a minute. Are you serious right now? We just had, like I talked about at the beginning of this video, we just had a trans person attack a Christian school, specifically targeted these Christian kids for this terrorist attack. And we have now the press secretary of the White House telling them to, quote, fight back. How is this not what they would call stochastic terrorism by their own standards? I mean, this is just crazy. It would never be tolerated if it was going the other way. We were told over and over by the likes of Karen Jean-Pierre that Trump was somehow responsible for what happened on January 6th because he told people to march peacefully and make your voices heard. Somehow that was inciting terrorism. But now going out after an actual terrorist attack by a trans person and basically giving justification for more trans people to make more attacks is just unbelievable but she will be given a pass for it because she's got the privilege based on her skin color her sex and her sexual preferences you're not going to see any cnn msnbc nbc abc cbs pieces on the white house stoking terrorism or stoking hate no you're not going to see any of that because all of these people actually believe that if kids can't get these surgeries that will change their lives forever when these kids can't make those kind of decisions for some reason they really want these kids to pretend to change their sexes 
If they can't get that, then they apparently endorse violence in response. All right, folks, that's all I have for that one. I got to get ready for this debate tonight with Dylan Burns. So I want to invite you again to show up. It will be at 8 p.m. Eastern. You can get, just come to this channel or go to my Discord. And if you're in the Discord, you should be able to participate. Thanks a lot. If you enjoyed this, please hit that like button, share, subscribe, and make sure to leave a comment to continue the discussion. Thanks a lot. I'll see you all on the next one.